Testing one, two, three, testing. Great job. Go up here again. Testing one, two. Testing one, two, three. Testing. Testing. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. The love of God is the Lord Jesus Christ. And there is no other way than the way of Jesus. God sent forth his love. God sent forth his charity. And that charity and that love is in the name and in the person of the Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is the way, he's the truth, and he is the life. That there is no access, there is no way to get to the Father except through the finished work of the death of and the burial, and the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Religion cannot do what Jesus Christ has done. There is no means that you can do to finish the finished work of Jesus Christ. For upon the cross of Jesus, he said, it is finished. It's done. The race is over. And that when you try to add, you try to make more to what Jesus Christ is and to the work of Jesus Christ, you try to make more. You try to add to. You are adding an artificial preservative. And God does not take artificial preservatives. An artificial preservative is a religion. Giving. Giving money. Alms. Feeding the poor. That's, all, that's artificial. Going to church is artificial. They're not even preservatives. They're just artificial. I try to be good. You can't be good enough. It's artificial. It is something that man and the devil has concocted to think, to deceive, that what I and what you do, God has to approve. And I'm here to tell you, according to the Bible, God does not approve of everything. That the very words of Jesus Christ himself, God, when he said of himself, not me, of himself, I am, Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. And no man cometh unto the Father, but by me, that Jesus is the only way to the presence of a holy and a righteous God. There is no access 
There is no means of God, by God, through God, to get to God. Ignorance is artificial. I just choose not to believe. I choose to be an atheist. Or I'll move up a step and I'll, you know, I don't know, I'm an agnostic. Or I'll move up another step and I'm a Baptist. I'm a Catholic. I'm a Presbyterian. I'm a Christian. Just calling yourself a Christian does not make itself. As much as I could say I'm a fire hydrant. I can go around the world and say I'm a fire hydrant. I'm a fire hydrant. Saying it doesn't make it so. And there are many people and there is a religion that states to be Christian. And they don't even know what Christian is according to the Bible that's artificial. Again, that Jesus said of himself, he is the way, he is the truth, and he is the life. That there is no access to God the Father, the Holy and Righteous Father, without Jesus. And that if you're going to appear before God in artificial Because the Jesus that you may believe, the Jesus that attends your church, the Jesus that is built upon the foundation of your religion, Paul says may be another Jesus. And Paul acknowledges another Jesus. But it's not the biblical Jesus. It's not the Jesus that's God. It's not the Jesus that's able to save your soul. It's Satan's Jesus. Satan has another Jesus. He has another gospel. He has another spirit. And another Jesus is not going to get you to heaven. Another Jesus, another Jesus is not going to get you before the Father. Another Jesus is not approved by God. That if you are put in your faith and trust in another Jesus, you and that Jesus will go to hell. There is a Jesus that's in hell. There is a Jesus that will go to hell. That's another Jesus. That's a religious Jesus. That's a Satan Jesus. That's a church Jesus. But it's not God who's Jesus. It's not a holy and righteous Jesus. It's not the Jesus that suffered and died upon Calvary's cross. It's not the Jesus that was buried. It's not the Jesus that three days and three nights resurrected out of the grave according to the scriptures. It's not the Jesus that was seen over 400 people. It's not the Jesus that met Paul on the road to Damascus. It's a Jesus that is fun-loving. It's a Jesus that doesn't get offended. It's a Jesus that the farmer's market would love to have. The very fact of a true and righteous Jesus is why you got music blaring at the farmer's market. Because if there was not the biblical Jesus being preached, 
there would be no music to, to damper and hidden and stop the word of God. And that if I had the other Jesus, the worldly, kind Jesus that kisses babies and loves everybody, that Jesus would be given a table at the farmer's market and not off to the side on the sidewalk. But the Bible says that there is one Jesus, one Spirit, and one God. And the Jesus of the Bible and the Jesus that I preach is one with God, who is God. And that the Jesus of the Bible and the other Jesuses, the another Jesuses that are failures, is that if you are a Jehovah Witness, you have another Jesus. You have a Jesus that is not God. Because the Jehovah Witnesses do not believe that Jesus is God. And yet the Apostle Thomas said, My Lord, my God. You do not want a Jesus that's not God. Because if Jesus is not God, he can't save you. He can make you and have you peddle magazines. He can have you go to door, but he can't get you to heaven. He would have you to believe you are the 144,000. And yet the population of the Jehovah Witnesses are far above the 144,000. That another Jesus would say that I'm coming in 1914 and never came. Another Jesus say, I have you to build a house and build a house for Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob because I'm coming and you never came. For God is love, but Jesus is holy and he's righteous and he cannot allow sin. And he's not a liar. That Jesus, the same Jesus that is God, is the means of salvation that is able to save you. And you got to make sure you don't have another Jesus. Jesus is love, but he's not all love. He's holy and righteous. There's another Jesus of the Catholics who believe that if I or you eat the body and blood of Jesus Christ, I might get to heaven. There's a possibility of me getting to heaven. And yet the Bible forbids under the law, in the Gospels, and in the church age, the Bible forbids the eating and drinking of blood. And yet to the religion of the Catholics, by magic, that body and that blood is literal through the wafer and the juice that you are literally eating the body and the blood of God. So they say. Now I grew up as a Baptist, I grew up as a Roman Catholic before I was saved. I said I grew up as a Roman Catholic before I was saved. 
I was not saved in the Catholic religion of the other Jesus. And that the Catholic Church has another Jesus that's feminine. That their Jesus is Mary. A Mary that to them is a liar. Because the Catholic Jesus Mary never had any other children. Though the Bible says she had other children. Their Mary can intercede for man. And yet the Bible says there's one mediator between God and man, the man Christ Jesus. That's not Mary because the Bible says it's a man. And Mary is a female. So simple to see. So simple to believe. Unless you're living in 2021 where there are people who don't even know what sex is. But the Bible says God made them male and God made them female. Mary is a female, and the mediator, according to the scriptures, that there's one mediator between God and man, the man, the man, Christ Jesus. There's another Jesus if you happen to be Mormon, that a Jesus Christ that came over to North America to a group of people and a group of places that archaeology has not and will never find. That if you can fulfill your sexual lustful desires of multiple wives, that you can have more babies to populate outer space where NASA will never go. That a Jesus that came to North America is another Jesus. That a Jesus that you can eat and drink is another Jesus. That a Jesus that is not God is another Jesus. And that a Jesus that is love and love only, that's another Jesus. And you can believe whatever you want. But that's not going to get you to heaven. That's not God approved. As much as I could say, I'm a fire hydrant. Well, the fire department will up, come up and say, excuse me, sir, you're not a fire hydrant. Oh, yes, I am. Mr. Firefighter, I say I'm a fire hydrant. I'm a fire hydrant. And the, and the fire department says, no, you're not. And there are people who are going to stand before God I'm saved. I'm a Christian. Oh, no, you're not. Oh, yes, I am God. I'm saved. I've got a religion. I've got works. I gave. I fed. I did. I done. <laughs> and the God that suffered and died on the cross, according to the scriptures, and the God that was buried, and the God that arose from the dead three days and three nights according to the scripture will tell you and your another Jesus. Jesus will tell you and your another Jesus, depart from me, workers of iniquity. I never knew you. 
there's possibility you do not have the Lamb of God, which take away the sin of the world. You may have the wolf in sheep clothing. And yet the God, the Jesus that suffered and died according to the scriptures. And that was buried. And arose again the third day according to the scriptures. That God. That Jesus. is the Jesus that is approved of God. It is the Jesus that said he is the way, he is the truth, he is the light. Now he is the only access to God the Father and all others are an artificial all others are not the way. All others are not the truth. All others are not the light. All others will not get you to Father. And that the words of John the Baptist, he that has the Son, Jesus, has everlasting light, he that has not the Son, Jesus, shall not see light, but the wrath of God abiding upon him, the Jehovah Witness, Jesus, the Catholic, Jesus, the Mormon, Jesus, the worldly, Jesus, is not the Son of God. They are a son of the imaginations and the thoughts of Satan, of the world, and man. And that those Jesuses are a deception that will drive you to hell. And yet the biblical Jesus the Bible says, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord Jesus Christ. Make sure you have the Lord Jesus Christ. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. That's the salvation. That is God approved. 